Hello friends, family, and strangers on YouTube and Facebook. This is Groovy Hoovy here, and I am documenting my first ever flotation experience. I am driving to the bank now because they only take cash, so I have to go get 90 bucks for 90 minutes, and they already implied that they're expecting a tip, so I guess I should get a little over a hundred to make everybody happy and I'm super excited there's only two options here in South Florida one is in Boca and one is in Delray so I'm going to the one in Delray which is about a 45 minute drive according to my GPS and I was really lucky I was able to get a same day appointment I decided to opt for 90 minutes as opposed to 60 minutes for my first flotation experience because I read that beginners sometimes have a hard time relaxing and letting go and that at the end of the hour, right when you start to feel relaxed, you have to get out and <laughs> that would suck. So I'm trying to avoid that because um, floating is one of my all-time favorite things to do anyway. So hopefully I'll be able to relax in there and um, let everything go. I've read a lot of uh, reports about different physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, psychological benefits that people have from floating. So um, I hope that I get all of the above too. Uh, relief from achy joints um, and stress reduction and possibly even a spiritual encounter with my higher self. That would be super cool. My dad just did it recently um, by my recommendation, and he enjoyed it. He said that it was very relaxing. He said that the hour passed by like 15 minutes, but he was kind of, I guess, hoping or expecting for like that LSD trip kind of experience, and it didn't happen, so he was a little disappointed, and he said that it was overrated. But I, from what I've read, the people that have the out-of-body experiences are people who are experienced meditators. So if you're just a rookie, I guess you can't expect to have that kind of like ultimate experience on your first time. But he is going to try to do it back in California and hopefully in time with experience, uh, his meditation experience will get deeper and his floating experiences he'll get more out of it. So one of the frequently asked questions, which was the question on my mind, is has anyone ever died in a flotation chamber? Because I've read that some people get so relaxed that they actually fall asleep. And what would happen if you like rolled over to your stomach? Like, could you drown from the water? And the answer was, and it makes a lot of sense, no, nobody's ever drowned because if you were to roll over onto your stomach, the salt water is so concentrated that it would irritate your eyes and nose and, and that would wake you up. The chamber itself is approximately four feet wide, eight feet long, and seven feet high. Uh, it's gonna be completely pitch black, so no sound. The water temperature is about 95 degrees, so that's approximately the skin temperature. Um, the floating is done in the nude, although all the pictures that I've seen in documentaries, people had bathing suits on. But from what I'm reading, like it's, it's you don't want to have like any sensory distractions, so they recommend to float in the nude. Um, there's about a thousand pounds of Epsom salts in the water, which is magnesium salts, which is very therapeutic, so kind of similar to floating in the Dead Sea. And there's um, 250 gallons of water in the tank. Um, so it's, it's only about 10 inches deep though, so the nose and the mouth are going to be outside of the water while the body will be in the water, but will be, I'll be completely floating. And the water is sanitized between people. It's filtered water, but then I was reading on their website that they have this process with UV that um, kind of like uh, sanitizes the water between people. But nothing can live in there. That's why like the Dead Sea is called dead because the salt is a natural antimicrobial and it will kill anything. So there's no 
risk of disease transmission, thank God, and otherwise, of course, I wouldn't do it. Um, and it's, so it's completely safe in terms of that aspect. One thing that I am a little nervous about is I, I think I might have like a minor cut on my leg, and so I'm hoping that it's not gonna burn too bad, but maybe the skin has healed enough so that it's not gonna be like an open wound. So I'm almost at the bank, I'm gonna get my money out, then I have my trusty GPS here ready to go and I'll record some more at the actual spa, which is a called a holistic oasis. And they do acupuncture there, so pretty cool. I know they're up to some good stuff, so. so I'm, I'm really excited because like Andrew Weil, in his book called The Natural Mind, he talks about how in meditation and in these deep states of relaxation, we can reach those like drug-like states that drugs are just basically like a shortcut, like a cheap way to like get there, to get high, you know, but that our brains are wired so that we can get high on our own, but drugs are kind of like just like an artificial way to get there. So let's see what my brain and mind is uh, going to do today. Um, so I just got back from the ATM, got my money, about to get on the freeway. I was starting to explain that the reason why they take cash only is because it's illegal in the state of Florida to um, have a floating business. And so I guess they do it under the table, but they do advertise it on their website, which is how I found them online. So it's an interesting conundrum. I have just arrived and parked at Dew 20 Holistic Oasis. Dew 20 is an acupuncture point on the top of the head, which is used to increase yang energy in the body. I wonder why they named it Dew 20. Maybe we'll find out soon. Here is the flotation chamber. There's the shower. Wow, very cool shower, very tall. I have just finished showering and everything is organic, seventh generation. It's a very state-of-the-art, beautiful spa. I would highly recommend anyone to come here. Gorgeous. They explained to me that Do 20 means heavenly gate in Chinese, which is why they picked it. This is the actual chamber. You can't see anything because it is pitch black. But I am about to step inside now, and I will see you when I get out. Ciao for now. Well, I'm just leaving Do 20 right now, and I can say that it was a very nice experience. I would like to do it again. It was very relaxing. Um, it did take a long time to reach that like really, really, really deep relaxation. I felt like I was falling asleep several times and I kind of woke up because I like twitched, you know, I had that like myoclonic jerk, what it's called, when you're just about to fall asleep and you're so relaxed that your muscles spasm or jerk or whatever. That happened several times. Um, I did start to have some like visions, but nothing elaborate and nothing that like lasted a super long time. They were just kind of like little things um, and ideas, but nothing that was like too overwhelming or like the way that some people had described some of the things that they experienced. It was almost kind of like scary, like maybe you could lose your mind or something like that. but. Definitely no psychosis here. 
Um, what can I say? It, the place was amazing, really beautiful, really clean, and they had everything there. And then afterwards, they gave complimentary tea, which I took to go, and I got the tridosha. They had like a plethora of exotic herbal teas, caffeinated and non caffeinated. And um, definitely would like to do it again. They had a beautiful space that they used for Tai Chi and Qigong, which I would love to offer meditation classes there and perhaps barter for flotation. So if I could get free flotation, I'm down to drive the 35 miles north up here to come and get it. Um, so the cut in my leg did not burn, nothing burned or hurt. However, one thing that I will email them about is their peppermint soap, um, which causes like a cooling sensation, was a little bit distracting uh, on sensitive areas. So I did notice that that lingering effect of the soap on the body it, while I was in the flotation um, tank. And uh, it was a little distracting, but it probably went away after like 10 minutes or so. And then it was really, really relaxing. And I hope that in future floats, I have deeper and more mystical, spiritual experiences. Um, and it's, I guess it's nice if it comes on gradually because then it like doesn't freak you out. Because I heard some lady was talking about how she saw like her inner demons and it was scary and it was like freaking her out that that was like part of her or something like that. And I was like, whoa. <laughs> but I guess everybody has a unique experience and um, mine was just very very relaxing um, in the beginning you could feel like the beat of your heart in your ears because it's like so quiet and like so you can feel like your heartbeat in your ears and then I, I kind of tuned it out and um, and then it didn't it wasn't like you know so present as it had been in the beginning and that's about it <laughs> you definitely try it and if you're in south florida go to do 20 in deerfield beach ciao for now